My name is Rachel Faithful Tumsimi and I am from Uganda. I will be sharing with you a few insights into the impact of the pandemic on education and children's mental health as well as a few ideas and suggestions on what can be done to alleviate this impact. World over children are a vulnerable population who have several needs and what this pandemic has done is elevate their vulnerability status by exposing them to a number of challenges. Some have worsened. We have seen an increase in teenage pregnancies, in early marriages, in child labor, in child trafficking, and now recently a major, major disruption in education because children are at home. Um, what countries have done is introduce things to enable this to continue. Um, because education is a sector that has enhanced children's development over the years. Um, we have seen online learning, we have seen some countries adopt a staggered manner of learning where children study in shifts, but this hasn't necessarily enhanced learning progress because some children are left behind. Majority of the children are left behind because they cannot afford to access online learning, for example, and also cannot afford to go back to school because of the financial constraints at play within a family level. Um, what also hasn't been as prioritized is children's mental health because they are somehow expected to just deal with the pandemic and the effects that it has had on them. And different age groups of children display, display different signs of psychological distress. Um, one way we can ensure that the public knows, that the general public knows about these things is through mass sensitization, through a common medium like radio, for example, if there are programs that give basic education on mental health about children, this would enable parents to be able to help them and cope with the difficult times. Um, one other way we can see this, um, this pandemic, less than its impact on the children is through attaching mental health programs at uh, area health centers. Um, they are a place that is easily accessible to different people in a specific locale. So if there were programs